I'm Sun Pang. I'm Keith. And I'm Tim. And our inquiry question is, Frankenstein is known as the modern Prometheus. In the actual novel, Mary Shelley makes frequent allusions in the rhyme of the Ancient Mariner. How are these two myths similar to the Fran story of Frankenstein? So, let's start with the myth of Prometheus. In the myth, Prometheus creates humans out of clay. He sees the humans in a dark world, so he offers them fire. But Zeus punished Prometheus for offering fire to the humans. And this was his punishment. And do you guys think Prometheus did the right thing? I think he did the right thing because when he gave fire to the humans, he basically gave them knowledge, and that taught them how to do what they we what we are able to do today. Okay, and what do you think? I think he did not have the right because if the humans would have power, then they would have um, they would have much power as Zeus, and they wouldn't be a leader. So I think we can see this in two ways. We can see that Prometheus genuinely cares for his creations or he just is very confident in his power and he just wants to show off his power. This is like Victor in that he wants to show his power. Do you guys agree with me? Victor does not have the right because he has no purpose to pro um, prove his power. Unlike Prometheus who is already a titan and already has the power. And he used the power to help the humans out, whereas Victor did not help anyone in any way. Okay. Then do you agree with me? Yes, I think Victor has the right because this is part of his quest to create life for glory and immortality. Okay. So here's a short version of Rhyme of the Ancient Mariner. He makes a wedding guest sit down to listen to his story. He was leading his crew out into the sea when a deadly fog struck his ship. Luckily, an albatross comes and leads him out of the mist. However, the ancient mariner kills the albatross. Angry, the crew members make him wear the dead albatross around his neck. Soon, a ship carrying death comes and says, I'm bored. Let's play a game of dice. If you lose, your entire crew dies. So then the ancient mariner says, sure, why not? He lost. While his crew died, he is left as a half-living, half-dead thing. He sees some sea snakes and says, These things are so ugly, yet my dead men are so beautiful. He soon realizes the beauty of all things by God, and thus that dead albatross falls off from his neck. His punishment for this incident is that he must live on to tell his story. And now... Do you think the ancient mariner learned his lesson? I think the ancient mariner learned his lessons because he was blind from the albatross, and later on in the story, he starts to respect the God's creatures. Okay. And what do you think? I think he doesn't learn his lesson because he still has to tell his story. But I also think that since he's telling his story, he cares about the others and doesn't want them to follow in his footsteps. So he's trying to learn his lesson? Yes. Okay. Do you think Victor learned his lesson? I don't, I don't think um, Victor learned his lesson because he did not show feelings or care about the situation. I agree. So I don't think Victor learned his lesson either because all he wants to do is kill the demon as he calls him and he and he needs to understand that the creature needs to be shown affection not this sort of hatred I also agree cool cool so we all agreed that Victor Frankenstein is just like the ancient murderer in the Prometheus and that they all have to endure some great punishment alone. By the end of the tales, all of the major characters are stuck in some way. The creature is stuck without a companion, Victor is stuck without his family, the ancient mariner is stuck in this world, and Prometheus is stuck to the rock. The punishments of Victor and ancient mariner are permanent, while Prometheus's punishment is temporary, it is still painful. By the end of their stories, they all learn valuable lessons.